welcome to our latest video. Thanks for watching. In this video we're going to discuss a quick and easy way to change our boot screens when you boot up Ubuntu 11.10 or any version of Ubuntu for that matter. You may say why do we want to do that? Why do we care? What's the purpose? Uh, one of the main reasons being if you've installed the Kubuntu packages or the KDE desktop packages and then later decided you wanted to get rid of those you'll notice that you still have the Kubuntu boot screen. And a quick and easy way to get rid of that is to use a simple program called Super Boot Manager. Of course, if you're like me and you just like to customize things about your operating system, you like to change the way it looks, the way it feels, the way it acts, that's another great reason to use this also. First things first, we need to bring up the terminal and we need to do a little terminal work to get the package installed. Once terminal opens, we need to enter a couple commands. So go ahead and type sudo space add apt dash repository space ppa colon i n g a l e x forward slash super dash boot dash manager hit the enter key you'll be prompted for your password so go ahead and punch that in hit enter again and now you're going to be prompted one more time just to make sure that you want to add that repository listing uh, to your system so go ahead and hit enter and that'll add it now we need to enter one more command this command is sudo space apt dash get space update space ampersand ampersand space sudo space apt dash get space install space super dash boot dash manager and hit the enter key. That command will update apt and download super boot manager for us. The installation process will take a couple of minutes depending on your internet speed and the speed of your machine. So I went ahead and fast forwarded through a little bit of this. Uh, once you come back to a usable command line, type in the word exit to close down the terminal. Now that we have Super Boot Manager installed, click on the dash button. If you're using Unity, uh, type in super and find the icon that has the octopus on it. You'll be prompted to enter your root password. That's the password used to log into your machine. Punch that in and click on OK. And scroll down the little pop-up box we get and select your language. And then you're greeted with the Super Boot Manager main screen. You will notice from the main screen of Super Boot Manager, we have several options. We can go in and we can see settings for Berg. If you've never heard of Berg, Berg is a bootloader, much like Grub. It's actually based on Grub. Hence, uh, if you actually read that backwards, you'll see Grub instead of just Berg. There are some nice boot screens and login screens that you can see through there. Um, as you scroll down through, you can see the ones you can change. If you're using Berg, you can go ahead and do that. If not, you can also install Berg over top of Grub and use it instead. There's also an option for Grub. We can go in and change Grub settings. Uh, that's of course the boot menu that you see, the bootloader. Uh, it's, granted, it's not quite as pretty as, say, Berg or some of the other options out there, uh, but there are some choices here that we can tinker with if we choose, although that is not the point of this video. What we need to change are settings in Plymouth. Plymouth is the boot screen or the splash screen manager that handles our boot screens when we boot up the system. So go ahead and click on the Plymouth Manager button. This will launch the Plymouth Manager portion of Super Boot Manager. Uh, from here, we need to simply click on the Themes tab. Let's move it over. And you'll notice there are a selection of themes already there. If we preview our default screen, you'll notice that right now I have the Kubuntu screen as the default boot screen. Of course, I'm no longer running the KDE packages, so I'd like to get rid of that. So let me see if I can stretch this box out here, and we'll scroll through and we'll check out some of these themes. So as we scroll through these, you'll notice that there's a very nice selection of themes that are already included. Uh, now these themes aren't exactly downloaded yet. This is just the thumbnail previews of what they'll look like. When you find the one that you like, like I'll select this theme, you'll notice above the box it tells you to click twice to install the theme. Once you double click, it'll open up a little terminal box and it'll start downloading the theme for you. Do be patient. It may take a few minutes to download these themes and have them go ahead and install for you, much like installing packages from the software center or whether you use the terminal to install your own packages. This all depends on your internet speed and the speed of your computer and whatnot, so do be patient. Once the download and installation process has completed, the terminal window will disappear and we'll need to click on the Set Default Theme button. This will open another terminal window that has a list of themes that you've installed. To select that theme, simply use the number just to the left of the theme entry in the list and enter it in the cursor down at the bottom of the window. Once you've entered the number, press the Enter key. 
Now notice I have more themes here. I've tested this. If this is your first time with Super Boot Manager, you'll only have a couple themes. Once you've set your theme, click on the preview just to make sure that that's the theme you like. And as we can see, that's that screen. Once again, the preview window can act kind of buggy, so we'll just go ahead and apply our changes. Please be patient when you apply these changes. It took my situation a few minutes to do that. Not sure whether that's a virtual box issue or whether that's a just a nature of the beast with this program. But either way, it seemed to work. So let's go ahead and reboot the machine. Because honestly, why would we change the boot screen and not want to make sure that it works? So let's go ahead and reboot. As we hold on just a second and watch the virtual box reboot, we'll see our change splash screen. This is a nice, fairly easy and quick way to change that splash screen. One of the main reasons you might want to do that is if you've installed the KDE packages over top of Ubuntu uh, to turn it into Kubuntu. Then if say you've removed those packages, most of the time that splash screen stays intact. So this is a nice way to swap it out. Uh, there are other themes out there that you can download and try out. And uh, they're just the same way to install. You double click the theme and install it. So let's go ahead and come back to the Light DM login screen. I'll log into the box. Once it comes up, I'll swap the theme out again. Just as we did before, once the system loads up, come up and click on the dash button and search for Super Boot Manager. In my case, I'll type Super and it will find it. So click the icon with the octopus, enter your root password, and click OK. Once Super Boot Manager comes up, click on Plymouth Manager. Then click on the Themes tab. Right quick, let's check out. There are some options here for using your own theme. If you're handy with that kind of thing, I'm not. Uh, so we'll just show you these settings. You can look through those on your own. Click back on the Gallery tab and I'll just use another theme that I've already installed. i tell you what, this time let's take a number 5. Uh, that selection will be different for you depending on what themes you've installed. Let's preview it and as we can see that is the stock Ubuntu boot screen. Let's go ahead and apply the changes. This will take just a few minutes. I've trimmed this down for the sake of time. Once that's done, the box will disappear. Now let's go ahead and click on the proprietary drivers tab. Uh, this clearly states for experts only. I am not an expert, so I will not worry with this box. In short, the whole point of the proprietary drivers tab is if you're using a closed or proprietary driver, you can make Plymouth Manager compatible with it. If you're using an open driver, uh, do not do this. Uh, really only tinker with this if you absolutely have to, if you're having some kind of problems with using the Plymouth Manager. Uh, otherwise, I would probably just leave it alone. And notice it's got a little caution sign there. Now we can go ahead and close out Super Boot Manager, and we can go ahead and reboot the machine. And just make sure that our splash screen is now back to the stock Ubuntu splash screen. Just a quick word of caution that improper use can render your system unbootable. Uh, some people have also reported issues with Super Boot Manager working properly. Uh, but in this situation, as you can see, we now have our Ubuntu splash screen back. Uh, so it looks good. So that's just a simple way that we can customize Ubuntu just a little further uh, using Super Boot Manager. Uh, I do know that there are other ways that you can accomplish this. Uh, this is just the method that I've been using and so far it's worked fine for me. I do know that there are also reports of Super Boot Manager not working quite right. I haven't bumped any problems myself. Not to say that I won't, but so far so good. It's been working fine. If it's worked fine for you, if you like it, be sure to check out some of the other themes that are out there. You can also download some themes off the web and try them out as well. And also in the meantime, make sure you swing by our website at techiesmarts.com. You can follow me on Twitter at techiesmarts. Uh, you can also find me on Google Plus and Facebook. All those links will be in the video description below or on the blog if you're watching on the blog. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with us when we update our videos. So once again, thanks for watching and have a great day.